what up everybody so today i'm looking at this uh chiller that had an alarm and i'm gonna figure out what's going on and hopefully this can help you as well uh, to see what's going on whenever you get this kind of alarm so i'm gonna go to the history uh menu so you can see what kind of alarm we have history okay I I think it was a low discharge supply. Let's see. Let's navigate to the uh, history and see what uh, the alarm was. Because it's still giving me issues. I haven't fixed it. Probably not. Whatever caused that alarm. So <clears throat> let me make sure which alarm it was. Here goes low discharge super heat. Okay. Uh, that happened today, this morning. I reset it. Now it's running, but it's not doing what it's supposed to. So let's see what was causing that alarm. Something that goes out on these chillers a lot is the suction thermistor. It's a thermistor that goes around the suction line of these chillers. So let's see the temperature. This is the <clears throat> PSIG. So let's check the temperatures. Temperature suction, look at that. Uh, discharge suction 74.9. That's way too high. And just I just looked at uh, the suction line and it's sweating, so I'm sure that uh, the mixture is actually bad. So we're gonna replace it because <clears throat> I'm sure it's not, it's not 74. So <clears throat> we're gonna go to the side of the chiller, we're gonna change out the mixture and see what happens. Stay tuned and we'll see what happens after we we'll play that game. Okay, this is the suction side of the unit. Uh, this is where we're gonna replace the thermistor I have it here with me. Uh, I went to the supply house and this is what they gave me when I asked for the suction side thermistor. Uh, this is gonna be the one we're gonna, we're gonna replace in that suction line. I want to take a closer look this is how it looks let me show you the part number right there if you want to look at it there's the part number um i asked for a suction thermistor and this is what he gave me he told me it was a replacement for this one and i'm going to show you <coughs> right here look at it this one is a copper one and it's bigger and I found it here in the ground. It was, I guess somebody replaced it and this, this is an old one that doesn't work and they throw it on the ground. So I'm not gonna use that one. I'm gonna use the one they gave me, this one right here, which is uh, stainless steel, smaller. The guy told me it's a replacement, I don't know, for that one. So I don't know. I'm gonna use this one and we'll see what happened. This one goes uh, strap around the suction side, right there. Just trap it around and it will work. Okay, I wanted to show you this as soon as I start taking apart the insulation. Oh, let me see. I found this thermistor just the way you look at it right now. Loose, reading the insulation temperature. It's loose like this. That's why I'm not getting the readings. It's supposed to hear this suction back there. okay there Put it back and I'm gonna tie it on these things up right here and I'm gonna put all the insulation back on the new tape okay that's why I found that other thermistor on the ground okay somebody replaced it and didn't do it right and it went along Anti-recycle type, yep, it's back in the room. So let's do it, let's do it the right way and it should work. All right, so here you have it. I put uh, some new tape around the pipe, here and there. Uh, I actually tied up the, the thermistor and then I put the tape. Uh, now I'm getting much better rated with the suction line. I'm gonna show you a little bit. You can take off your little tape over there on my nerves. Oh, there you go. 
like I said, I think somebody replaced the thermistor and they didn't put new tape on it. They you know, didn't tight it up, so I did it myself right now. So now let's look at the readings on the screen over here. Okay. Here you have it, uh, system one, the, 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 the suction 51.50.9 which is much better from 70 something to 50 that sounds about right that sounds much better 2.4 that's kind of okay. i think the system is trying to correct itself so we're gonna read let's see system 2 is 550 which is good on the suction side suction superheat 9.9 .9 is good and then discharge superheat 26.4 which is good but in my system, system one is kind of low. So we are gonna let this system one run and correct itself. I'm pretty sure it's trying to calibrate. So this 3.3 can actually change, get higher. So we're gonna take a look at it uh, in a little bit. <clears throat> See? Okay, suction. 50, what I was doing, the system one, 50.9 on the suction, which is pretty good. Like I said, I don't like the ratings. Like on two, I got 51, suction, which is good. Let's let it run. <clears throat> Let's let it run and see if it corrects itself. I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, then I'm gonna show you if it did or not in a little bit. So stay tuned. Uh, uh, we'll see what happens. All right, after letting it run for about an hour, let's see now. Okay, man, 110 entering. I need to replace that thermistor too. But let's see what we really want to see. Okay, uh, system 137. Uh, let's see, temperature 51, 9.3, and 24.3. Looking good. Let's see, 2 to 2 51 9.8 and 25.1 so it did correct it itself it did calibrate it itself so it did work guys uh there you have it if you have uh, an alarm like the one i had a uh, high discharge superheat make sure you check your temperature so especially in that thermistor uh you could have an issue like i had or the thermistor cell might need to Hope you like this video and hope it's helpful for you uh, please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one uh, pretty soon guys thank you so much for watching yeah have a nice day